Other numbers, Nebraska 11, Arkansas 14, Missouri 21, Texas 24. Tulsa did not receive a vote of any kind. I probably have to take responsibility for that because I think the coaching change makes people wonder a little bit about what we'll be able to accomplish. And uh, What's the difference? You know, all we can control is what we do on Saturdays and, you know, continue winning games. Uh, I know we have the longest winning streak in the state. And as Caden reports, TU is used to playing that no respect card. So much to do, so little time. First day of practice at 11th in Harvard. Plenty of reason for optimism for the Golden Hurricanes. 17 starters returned from last year's 10-win team. But the nation's most brutal September schedule awaits. Top-ranked Oklahoma, 8th-ranked Oklahoma State, 7th-ranked Boise State, and a conference foe in Tulane. Is that exciting or just frightening? Not scared of either one of them. Um, it, I actually like the schedule. I love it. I mean, it's giving it, uh, to you the opportunity to, to earn some respect that we need. I take it as an opportunity, man. I mean, it's there for the taking. I mean, it's an awesome opportunity we get. We'll see how it goes. Now, Al, there's been a lot of talk in the last week about Bill Blankenship's claim that the best quarterback in Oklahoma doesn't play in the Big 12. He actually plays right here in Tulsa. Blankenship clarifying today, saying he wasn't looking to start a statewide debate. He was just looking to stick up for his guy. When you have a guy like G.J., and when you have a guy like Damaris, for me personally, those are my guys. And I don't understand, because I see them every day. I don't understand how they're left out of the discussion. Uh, you know, I, I just think he has a lot of confidence in me, and, you know, that feels good. You know, I, I work hard every day, and, you know, I'm a leader of the team. And, uh, you know, they, ha they have their great quarterbacks. I just think we bring, you know, all three of us bring something different to the table. And Kenny will get his chance to go head-to-head -head with both. At OU and Landry Jones, September the 3rd, hosting OSU and Brandon Whedon, September the 17th. From TU's Media Day, Caden McFarland, 2 News works for you. And former TU coach Steve Craigthorpe has decided to step down as LSU's offensive coordinator after learning he has Parkinson's disease. Craigthorpe says he will stay on as LSU's quarterback's coach.